friends, how are you all today? My name is Mackenzie and I'm so, so happy that you're here. So today I'm bringing to you my April favorites and I'm so, so excited. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Guys, so I have a lot of favorites this month and I wanna start off with all of the books that I have been reading. So the first book that I read this month that has been absolutely transformational it's called Daring Greatly by Brene Brown, and basically this book is all about vulnerability and how amazing it is to be vulnerable, but also how hard it is and the sort of transformation that you get uh, when you decide to be vulnerable and to have courage to kind of show your true self. And so this book has been absolutely amazing so far. Um, I'm about halfway through it, but I really... I joined a book club for this book. I haven't actually gone. That's why I was reading it because I was going to go to this book club, but then I decided, I don't know, whatever happened, I didn't go. But uh, I'm still reading this book, and so definitely pick this up if you guys want to read about vulnerability and how to kind of transform your life by doing that. So the next book I want to show you guys is a very spiritual book, um, but I absolutely love it. It fascinates me. Like I just read this book probably within two days. It was amazing. And um, it's called The Multi-Dimensional Traveler. And this book is really, really interesting. Um, I don't know what you guys think about multi-dimensions and multi-dimensional travel and if humans can travel to multi-dimensions. Personally, I believe that we are living in one dimension, but there are other different dimensions. Um, it, I think that there are unlimited possibilities for where we can go, what we can do in this universe. So it just makes me really excited thinking about it. But um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm like losing my voice. But yeah, so this is an absolutely amazing book. Um, this uh, author, Kartika Go, I think I, that's how you say your name, Kartika Go, I don't know. Um, but yeah, she's a really amazing writer and she talks all about traveling to lower dimensions and higher dimensions and interacting with different dimensional beings and how we are, you know, of the, in the physical realm, but then there are also beings in the energetic realm and just like really all over the place, but so amazing. She explains it so well and she also kind of takes you through the steps of multi-dimensional travel and to be honest, um, I can remember sometimes where maybe I traveled to lower dimensions and I didn't know it at the time. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm still trying to figure out how exactly to do that. So I'll let you guys know if I can, but um, it is a little bit tough, especially when we're stuck in the physical realm. But yeah, if you are interested in that, definitely check out this book. So the next book that I really enjoyed this month was The Law of Attraction by Abraham Hicks. Um, I guess, well, I guess it's by Esther and Jerry Hicks, but, you know, they channel Abraham, and uh, I feel like it's just was a really amazing uh, book for me to read. It's just very simple about the law of attraction and the basic principles, and I felt like I lost sight a little bit, but I feel like I'm back on track now, so that was an absolutely amazing book to listen to. Before, when I was commuting uh, really far to work, um, it was great to listen to. Now that I'm uh, not commuting as far, it only takes me about 10 minutes to get to work now, um, I listen to it in smaller snippets, but it's still good. It still puts you in that high vibrational frequency when you turn it on and listen to Abraham. So if you guys haven't already checked that book out, then definitely do so. Okay, so next. So I know that if you've been watching my videos, you know that I recently moved and um, it's been amazing so far. I absolutely love my new place. And the first thing that you want to do when you go to a new place is you want to sage your place. So I picked up some sage from my local uh, spirituality shop and it's absolutely amazing how cleansing this stuff is and I've been saging every night like every night i mean not my whole place and what you want to do when you do get a new place when you move into another place you want to burn the sage and you want to use the smoke and all the corners and the nooks and crannies in your new place to kind of get rid of the negative energies and you want to say an attention when you do this and uh it kind of it fills the whole room with just this amazing cleared energy and you'll want to maybe burn incense after that or something like that but this has been amazing and you can also sage yourself after a long day or if you have been around people that have kind of sucked the energy out of you or you feel really negative just go ahead save your sage yourself you can just do it around you and always do the bottom of your feet that is the key you want to do the bottom of your feet and so yeah I would definitely pick up some sage if you do get a chance it's not very expensive I think I only paid like two or three dollars for this so yeah I love this so another thing that I picked up that I have been dying to get was a pendulum so this is my pendulum here. This is rose quartz 
and it is so lovely. I love this pendulum. It has the most amazing energy in it. Um, even when I'm like holding it now, I'm just like, wow, like I can just feel it like pulsing through me. And I will actually wear this uh, pendulum around and I feel like it just creates such a, a high vibration in me. And you can ask a pendulum questions if you want. Um, I feel like this this uh, this little guy is still getting used to my energy. So eventually I, will, I know I'll be able to get it. And I've already cleansed... Um, I already cleansed my pendulum, so what you want to do is you want to wash it with water and then you want to put it out in the sunlight for about 24 hours um, or sunlight and moonlight um, to kind of charge it up and uh, you know let it get used to your energy. But I, I still have this feeling that I still need to wear this a little bit more, but um, yeah, I'm really excited to start using this pendulum and yeah, it feels amazing when I wear it. <laughs> So the next crystal I picked up was this little bit of citrine. So citrine is really, really good for clearing energies. It's also really good for attracting money. So I thought that I would pick this little crystal up. And again, I did the same cleansing with this. And yeah, it feels, this one feels a lot less intense. This one feels, um, I'm trying to feel, like figure out how exactly to say how it feels. It feels more warm than my pendulum does. My pendulum feels intense. This one just feels, oh, I almost dropped it. Uh, this one feels warmer and yeah, a lot less intense, which is, you know, it's just different. I like it, but yeah, those are my favorite crystals for the month. Uh, so my last favorite of the month is a candle. So I have been loving this candle so much. I got this at Target. So it does say be grateful on it. So I actually burn this. I have like a little altar that I kind of, well, it's like a makeshift altar that I put like pictures of Alma and stuff and my crystals and things like that. And sometimes I'll meditate there. But um, I just love the little message, be grateful, and it smells so good. It's with cucumber and sea petals, and um, I love that it says sea petals because uh, lately I've been obsessed with the sea. Um, I live by the sea now. I'm always like going to the beach. I'm gonna go to the beach after I finish filming. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this candle, and it smells so like fresh and just so beachy, and yeah, I just, I love it so much. Okay everyone, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching my April favorites. I'm so looking forward to May and I feel like May is gonna be an absolutely amazing month and I'm wishing you all the best in the coming months. Don't forget to subscribe to me below. I make inspirational videos and minimalism videos and also a little bit of vlogs and travel videos sprinkled in there. So I hope that you really enjoy them. I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!